Hello and welcome back to Colorado. Shut up, chickens. Uh, we have been, well, we haven't been that busy, but <clears throat> we have a, a little a little problem here. If I go and check out my, look, my fields did not grow equally. I don't know what's going on with this field here, 1920, that are pulled together. They like started growing. This one grew before that one. Was, it was It was very weird, but whatever. We have two fields we need to go. Right now, I was going to clean this thing, but really, what's the point? <laughs> so we're going to just go ahead and uh, jump right in and get harvested. And some of you guys have also asked to do uh, a little thing about course play, kind of go through what I'm doing instead of just doing it. So um, we're going to attempt to course the, uh, the tractors picking up the grain. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> no promises that it will be pretty or functional. But there you go. All right, it's been uh, it's been less stressful when you when you have 130 grand versus three grand. It's a heck of a lot less stressful. Uh, stop. Nope. Back up a little bit. There you go. Okay. Nope. M. Nope. G. Zoom Arabic first. Yeah, I just had the wrong thing selected. Cool. And then I got Strom Stromhaxler Anshalen, which I think means my chopper. But it doesn't matter because this is this. So hire the waka. Bye. All right. Let's run over here. Let's see what we can do about prepping one of these uh, tractors for a course play. Yeah. And then I think we need to go... I think some grass has already grown, so I think we're going to go and try to uh, turn some grass. So... You? No. Eh. I'll take this one. All right. Let's back up. Go pick up the one of these two. The flagel, I guess. Oh, I also have baby lambs. I'll show you the baby lambs in a minute. I've got two packs of wool. And some. And some. And we have more chickens because some chickens were born. So I put some more chickens in the chicken thing. So we have more chickies. All right. Let's see if I can remember how to course this particular thing. Get in a Zephyr. Like so, we have to figure out which field we're in. We're in field 22. Uh, oh, I have to actually have a course to get out of here. All right, right. So, I need a course to take this canola back to the dump point. So, uh, we're going to turn him around. So, all right, so let's start the course record. We have to go put this in the canola. And we can just have him come rocketing across here because it doesn't matter too much. We just have to watch him when he comes through here. Uh, canola. Canola. Uh, no, that's barley and wheat. Okay. <laughs> so I have to find the right spot. And then that's canola right there. Okay. So then we're gonna just kind of drive over here. You don't actually have to do any speed. You don't have to worry about speed or anything. Just gonna go over that. Turn him back around. Uh, 
Now, I'm going to go flying through this bunker <clears throat> because I'm concerned about getting too close to that spigot and ending up with something in the trailer. So, we go flying through there. And then we have to come in and stop on the other side of our little little thing there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go out into the road here. Run a little bit down the road. And then do a nice little turn. Wabadoop. Like so. Boop. And stop. All right, we're going to save this. This is what field are we at again? Jeez, 22. Great. All right, so we're going to save this as canola field 22. Now, that's loaded. Now we're going to go to <coughs> empty combine and offload. So there's empty combine and offload the trailer, which is good for if you have an overloader. Here I'm going to empty combine and offload. <clears throat> now I'm going to come over. Excuse me, jeez. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to choose my combine manually. Okay. And then I should be able to let him roll. Yeah. All right. So drive course, my friend. And there he goes. He should now go. I guess I can check what his fill levels are. Uh, yeah, he's starting it at nine, at fifty percent. Now he's going to go to the combine, and he's going to try to pick up whatever is in the combine, like that. There we go. <clears throat> and he's going to drive on at 90%. So he should offload the canola at 90%. He will go and take it to our silos. So then we don't have to worry about this anymore. So that's how you set up the course play for a simple, simple runabout. Now we, we will do some more uh, important or some more difficult things here in a little bit. So he's, now he's going to pull off to a waypoint. And it's just a, a resting point for him to just hang out. The combine should go now. There he goes. Look at that. All right. So now we can leave those guys alone. Perfect. And they should take care of that field by themselves. Which is excellent. I don't have to do it. Yay. Oh, I want to show you the lambs. 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 Yeah, we had um, all eight chickens hatched, and now we have more chickies in the chicky pen, which means we have more eggs. I have, like, an absolute, like, mess of eggs on me right now. Look, we have lambs. Oh, look at the lambs. We have, is that all lambs? Yeah, that's all lambs. We think we have another lamb coming. Any moment now, I'll get another lamb. But look at the little lambs. Oh, they're so cute. All right, that's enough of that. Enough of that. Shut up, chickens. All right, now let's see what we can do about getting some hay for our cows. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna make an attempt at um, at turning out a bunch of hay for the cows, filling up the uh, foraging silo here as much as we can. That. There we go. So some of some of you know that early on in in the mod spotlights, I, I liked the idea of the the wheels that that cultivated or crushed the um, the crop, and it's great when you are the driver. The problem is <laughs> when you are not the driver, meaning when course play is doing it, they're just going to run right over all the crop. So. With that in mind, something to realize, just that the uh, cultivating wheels are cool, 
but not when you call when you course play because when you course play they don't give a, a rear end all right let's hook, no that's getting in let's hook it up hook it up okay Puts that one down that down Okay, and go. Lovely. So we're just going to mow some grass here. I'm going to I'm going to drive out onto the road for reasons of I feel like it. That's really the only reason I have for that. Oop, we got kind of stuck. <laughs> We're going to put some grass on the road. Because why not? All right, there we go. Perfection. <clears throat> so it looks like we'll get two full swaths on this. That's, that's all right. Still not really sure why this field decided it didn't want to grow in proportion, but whatever. What evs? What evs? Oh, good. Grass did grow across this road area. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. All right. This won't be a lot of hay, and I know this. But it will be a start towards our our forages, so we can get plenty of forage going. If you look up in the top left, you'll notice the John Deere is actually on the move because the harvester has hit 50%. So, triggered the John Deere to start moving. And I set mine at 50% because I found that the, uh, the time it takes the John Deere to catch up um, often meant that it would otherwise the, the vehicle would be full. Not necessarily that particular John Deere. It was just something I discovered in Kansas. So. Turn that on. Turn that on. Here we go. Excellent. Hey, it's not a lot, but it'll it'll get us started. And that's really what we need right now. And stop. And then we'll go and grab the uh, <clears throat> the tether and the uh, thing, the forage wagon, to collect up all of our wonderful hay. Ooh, cabin view, yeah, cabin view. And in cab, I do terrible. Well, I do terrible out of cab, so. Don't know what that proves. And stop. Some of you might be wondering, why are you taking the time to do these little areas? Well, so why wouldn't I? <laughs> Every little bit helps. That's what I'm going with. All right. Yeah. We got it. So it's not going to give us much, but, you know, what are you going to do, right? All right, let's bring those up. Raise that. There we go. Everybody's up off the ground. Let's get out of there. Wow, I was like, what's that noise? <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's the John Deere coming flying through here. Hello, John Deere. <laughs> I thought that for some reason one of the the uh, mowers had started up again. I was going to be like, what in the world? But no, no, John Deere. Nope, not that one. 
That one. There we go. And swing around. Swing your par partner, do -si do Can't remember the rest of the song, because I don't know. Okay, we'll get this thing, and then we got to go. I know some of you are like, well, you could have used a wind rower. Would have saved you some time, but yeah, I know. I know. So, there he is. See, he parked right at the stop point, and now he's just waiting for the harvester to get up to 50%. Pretty slick Rick, eh? I think so. Kun. 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 <laughs> All right, let's get over here and get this wind road. I probably could buy a really small wind rower, given the uh, the fact that my my mower piles everything up like this. But you yeah, know, yeah, I probably could get a really small wind rower. Jeez, great googly moogly. Well, there you go. This is how I don't wind roll. Yeah, I probably could get away with buying a smaller one. Sell this one and buy a little one, but... We'll just take this. We'll take this one for now. All right, let's not let's not uh, windrow our crop. <laughs> let's just windrow the grass. Yeah. So, what do you think? Should I buy a smaller windrower? <laughs> uh, I probably won't, only because I could get away with. Um, I probably could do this. This thing is big enough. Oh, wow, oh, that was that was gonna be slick. It turned out not to be. <laughs> Still not slick. <sighs> there we go. Now can I make it before I whack that? No, but uh, you know, a little broken wind rower never hurt nobody. <laughs> there. Look at that. Well, that's pretty cool. I can sort of get both lanes. Oh, I'm going to hate myself trying to clean this up with the, uh, the forager, aren't I? Yeah, probably. Just kind of missed that on purpose there. There we go. Oop. There. Perfect ish. Mostly. Yeah, I'm so I'm suddenly thinking that maybe not having a wind rower is a really bad plan. <laughs> uh oh well. And we're mostly done. All right, we're mostly completely done. Yeah. We're going to call it mostly completely done. Yeah, I see some areas that I missed, but I want to see how bad it is work the forage wagon through this. Because if it's really bad, we're going to have to go buy a wind rower. But if it's not too bad, then, you know, who cares, right? Right, I'm going to put this thing right here, just in case we... Uh, I'm not going to put it there, because it'll get... Oh, no, I can't put it there either, because the milk truck will run... Uh, never mind, I'll just put it back. <sighs> it's going to be cool, but nope. Nope, nope. I'll just put it right here. Where apparently I'm putting all my parkables. There we go. All right, let's go collect some hay, I hope. I hope. Oh, 
Okay, that field's going well. Yeah, he's maybe a third of the way through the field. Pretty much tells me what I thought. That field's huge. <laughs> All right, let's turn it on. Let's see what we can do. Wait, why are you coming in as grass, though? Hold on. Please hold while we check the, uh... Grass, chaff, and straw. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little run along here, and then we're going to go and see if it'll dump into the, uh, the thing. Into the mixing station of mixiness. Good, and then I'll just turn around and go right back down the other side. And immediately regret, regret not having a wind rower. Whoa! Hello. Don't do that kind of turning. It's a bad idea. Pro tip there. Okay. Let's see what happens here. it off. All right, let's go and see about putting 1,400 liters of what I hope to be hay into the cow spot. If it doesn't work, then I have to put it into the sheep, which is not a big deal. So sheep need food too. And we have to figure out another way to collect what we need to collect. Oh, good. All right, it does work. All right, awesome. Oh, look, it's actually going to start making some forage. Not a heck of a lot, mind you, but it's going to start. <laughs> uh, we're going to get circuit warnings across the top of the screen. Oh, your, your mixing station has run out of... I'm going to be like, yeah, I know. It's because I'm not done collecting it. There you go. Excellent. So the other thing I got to do is I got to watch those guys over there a little bit. So the John Deere's at 43% fuel. The class is at 90% fuel. But I also have to watch them as they approach the end of the field. Um, and just make sure that they... Uh, they finish properly because what'll happen is the uh, the class won't have 50% and it'll get to the end and it'll stop the John Deere will just sit there and idle away waiting for the the class to get to 50% so you just have to kind of watch that go. Perfect. Yeah. They're working out well. Now let's uh, make a little spin around. And let's let's do our little wheel stand because it's all it's what all the cool kids are doing with their tractors. Putting wheel stands. Now, if you guys didn't see the video I put on Twitter, it reflected on the Facebook. I thought it was absolutely awesome. Someone pointed out that that was it was modded trucks, but yeah, I knew that. <laughs> it was a uh, uh, Kenworth 379 and a Peterbilt T800 dump truck doing a drag race. 15 second quarter mile. 15 second quarter mile out of the T the T800 dump truck now it was a modded dump truck <clears throat> thousand horsepower with a compound turbo setup but 
it's still a 15 second quarter mile out of a giant dump truck. Woo, here we go again. Woo. So yeah, if you do, if you're not following me on Twitter, like I, I will post random stuff on Twitter and um, it'll reflect on the Facebook, but let me go ahead and put it out there that Facebook isn't probably the best way to get a hold of me. I know a lot of you guys send me messages. I'll get a, a note from Facebook every once in a while. You have 30 friend requests, 90 messages, and something else. And I'm just like, oh, crap. The thing is, I don't go on Facebook very often. Um, no, I'm not a big Facebook fan. I'm less of a fan of Google+. Plus right now. It's just because I don't understand how it works, but um, I'm not a huge Facebook fan. I, I, I need to get better, and I'm going to try to get better. Um, but know, to, know that if you send me a message, those of you that have been sending me messages of hi, and then get mad that I don't respond to you, I'm not going to respond to hi. Seriously. Just not going to happen. So, um, yeah. Kindly have a valid something that you are asking. That would be awesome. Um, but Twitter is really the best way um, to interact with me. The way I have things set up, I don't get Facebook on my phone because I don't want Facebook on my phone. So all I have on my phone is Twitter. And that means that I'm usually on the go and I'm looking at my phone. So Twitter is really a good, good thing. If you're not a tweeter, that's fine. You can just follow me on... You can sign up for our account, follow me on Twitter, and, and at least get updates. Um, some of you are like, why is the Farming Sim Mod Spotlight video private? Well, the thing is, if you, had, if you had Twitter or were following on the conversation on Facebook, you knew why. Because Google screwed up again, and the video wouldn't play. So I turned it to private while I tried to sort out what was going on because I couldn't immediately drop everything and upload. So. I was hoping it would rectify itself by the time I got home from work, but it didn't, so I had to re-upload anyway, just because YouTube is evil sometimes. Not all the time, just sometimes. <laughs> 